Hello everyone, I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining us in the great lands of New Canaan, the land of milk and honey. So right now, as you might be able to tell, we have a little bit of a red X up north. It looks like Yampa has decided to justify against our puppet, the Crazy Horn. Now, it's been 59 days since I have left you. How do I know? Because, well, I have 59 days left of this focus for the kingdom of God. So, right now, we are waiting to go to war with the Ruby Val Valley, Ruby Valley Refuge. In, oh, 10 days. Glorious. Glorious. So, also, Yampa, oh, a little bit of lag there, a little bit of lag, uh, has two days until they go to war with the Crazy Horns, which I hope they do. Which I doubt they'll do, but we'll see what happens. Also, ah, the kingdom of God. Glorious. And logistics, too. Beautiful. Um, oh, a burning vengeance. Fervor, bastion of faith. You know what? Let's do this one. Because you really haven't done a new Canaan playthrough. Unless you choose a burning vengeance. The burned man seeks vengeance. The legion must be made to pay for its terrible crimes. It will be a difficult fight, but God will bring us victory. And, of course, vengeance. Cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade some of our things. Oh, stim packs. I love stim packs. Uh, what am I thinking of? I am currently thinking of nothing at the moment, but I need to think of something so I can tell you guys. Oh, well. Let's see. Ah, yes. Very good. I have had reports from the Inquisitors that even though we have the modern-day Sodom and the modern-day Gomorrah, there are things going on in the Northwest that have driven us to sadness, to depression, to fear, even. There, it, there lies a country in the Northwest that uses powered suits? Something like that? Somewhere in the Northwest near Capitol Hill, they have terrible, terrible creations under someone named the Immortal. We must crush him to get access eventually to what we have heard as the Pacifac Ocean. We must get Ocean access to figure out what lies across the wastes. And we must push west once we push east because there is a decision here to form a deseret but to see this you must read it carefully derived from the name for honeybee in the book of mormon deseret was a provisional state in old world america it was never formally recognized by the government but now it is time for us to reform the state of deseret inside utah and bring a new age of religious prosperity to our lands and most importantly to form deseret we require all states in utah Due to limitations with decisions, this decision will be or will highlight only one state at a time, giving you an indication of which states you still need to conquer. Which is not bad. So, if you if you're like me and you didn't know initially, um, you know, where the state was, there's a reason why I actually want to go to war with Yampa. If you take a look at about the center right part of our screen, it's right here. I didn't realize this. And I was questioning, why don't you just highlight all territory? Well, the devs made, made it so that they can't highlight all territory that you need, but they will highlight one piece of territory that you need at a time. And unfortunately, <clears throat> we don't have all of Uta. The Yampa own Uta, so we must, of course, go west. But we also must drive east. And I guess, in the end, take out a little portion of east, central, and west Colorado, which really means all of northern Colorado. Right now, we don't have a lot of manpower. We're still mobilizing, but I want more. And I need more. I'll be honest, I need more because I... Well, to be honest, guys, I tried this a little bit earlier, and I didn't like it how, how it turned out. Nothing went wrong. It just... The audio was just a little bit too loud. Cool. Oh, and I just... Awesome, yeah. Get a little, few more divisions. Let us get ready to go to war. Um, 50 planes here. We need another 100 here. Oh, we don't have another 100. Hmm... It seems like I'm going to have to increase my resource efficiency gain levels. Go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so, to get to the Pacifac Ocean, and to get to the Sodom and Gomorrah, we will have to go through the League of Civilized States. 
and then continue pushing north and west. So, next up, Ripe Rolt Territory. 90 days. Actually, that's not too bad. 90 days? That's pretty good, honestly. Alright, hey, Taiti. You, honestly, can probably do a pretty good job down here. Planes. <clears throat> uh, you're, there's only 12, that's okay. You have 50 of y'all over here. One of you can come up that way and do that. And another 50 can come down to... Um, you know what? You both come here. And we'll increase the size of this air base. As we are trying to increase the size of... Or increase our influence in Yampa? No. Increase our influence in the Tapar Walkers. Alright, very good. Not bad, not bad. Alright, alright. Let them melt. Oh, we can call in our allies, because why not? Good. Mobilize the people of burning vengeance. I want more manpower, because we will need it. We will very much need it. Alright, losses. 355 versus 39. Not bad. Use our puppets, our friends. Our puppeted friends. They're running out of manpower, which is glorious. Uh, planes, how much damage are we doing? We're doing some damage. Not a ton, but we're doing some. 121 planes here. Alright. Well, we'll have another airbase up there soon enough. No worries. But, what if we wanted to attack from this direction as well? Ah, yes. Well burn tremble. Glorious. Truly glorious. And then 90 days until we go to war with these guys. Ah, no, we can't do that yet. Well, when we go to war with the League, we will have more than enough manpower in time. Of course, we will take out the League, and then we'll go to Yampa. Actually, it makes more sense for me to go to war with Yampa first, so it can core all this. Oh well. Nevertheless, in time we shall have our fill. Oh, an encirclement. A beautiful thing. Ooh, more divisions. Thank you. And actually, just in case, I don't want any more of these divisions. Oh, vehicle scavengers return. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and stop making these divisions after this next set. It is my goal to annex the Tarwalkers. Ah, eight divisions. The duchies of the Vice Royalty have declared war on Nueva Aslan. Good. Mobilize the pizza. Pizza? Mobilize the people. Uh, Form Desert. I really want to do that. Losses so far. 3,047. <clears throat> Beautiful. Take the capital. And that's probably all you really need. And we have grenade rifles. Glorious. Truly glorious. Ah, yes. Things that go kaboom please me. Alright, let's get some more industry and get some more resource efficiency gain. Cool, let us go ahead and prepare ourselves immediately. Um, soldiers up north. Well, you're not going to defend against them for now. Because we have to go to war with these guys. So, I want all y'all to defend the lands in the north. There you go. Next up, I'm going to actually throw you guys right there. You are down south. I'm not going to move these guys because you never know if we might end up in a war with the NCR. And I don't want to make a mistake again. So, we'll not do that. Evander, I must call you from the north. There you go. There you go. We gave you about six of you guys. You'll be over here. There you go. There you go. And that should pretty much cover it all. Hold. But be bold and hold. And I'm also going to increase infrastructure here because I have something planned for us. Something fun. Because I've been criticized before for, let me say, not using 40 width combat divisions before. And you know what? I normally don't use 40 combat width divisions, at least in Old World Blues, because in my opinion, a lot of the, a lot of the supply is so bad that you take a lot of attrition. And that's okay. That's how I play. And you know what? To make up for my lack of 40 combat with divisions for most of the games or, and campaigns, that's why I have an Air Force. Build up that Air Force. I love an Air Force. 
Mm, probably come down there for now. Throw you onto here. Let time go on. Ah, oh, good. You guys are fine without stuff. Evander's gonna need it though. And we could probably build up some two planes there. Let's build up one more plane there. We got some coming up there. And two more right there. Beautiful. So let's take a quick look at how the world is turning. Or burning. Or either or. Ah, four more divisions. Good. I will send them to Joshua Graham's soldiers. But I'm going to send these three to hold the line against Yampa. If Yampa gets a little too rebellious, we'll say. Throw that one right there. Even though it would probably be smarter for me to use him in battle, I don't feel like taking him off the line just yet. He's good where he is. So, sure. You know what? Let's get some more vehicles. And ripe Orolt territory. We're halfway done with um, justifying on them. And Kaisar is sucking a fat one right now. Oh, Kaisar. Energy gain boost. Huh. Wow. That's pathetic. Wow. New Vegas. They still have 2,000 manpower. Nice. Quite a few divisions. The NCR has some manpower in quite a few divisions. That is pathetic, in my humble opinion. You guys are no bueno. Thomas Price, thank you for playing. Um, we're getting resources, which is good. Um, you have a scrap tank. Supply use, supply use. Doing that. Um, something that we could really use. More naval stuff, really. Can I get a combat barge? No, then we will get a metal bow. Probably. Yeah, we'll do it. Why not? <clears throat> oh, good. Good, good. So we have the Mormon Jesuits. Then we have the Truth Seekers. Hmm. And we have the Knights of Mormonism and some Inquisitors. We'll call it the 323rd. Mormon Inquisitors, because I'm a little tired and can't think of any other really cool name. Oh, and we've got a lot of ships. We've got almost a hundred ships. A lot of canoes. We've got a lot of canoes. <clears throat> a lot. Holy cow. We had a burning vengeance. Good. Also, I'm joined here by my cat. My Mormon cat. Binky. Glorious. Religious fervor. Our people hold a strong religious fervor. All of them have great faith in the word of God. And our young men regularly join up receptive to our training to serve the Lord. Do we need any more equipment? Honestly, no. We have a small stockpile of plus air support, which is great. We're making APCs, which is great. We have recon kits, and we're going to make them even harder. I love hard units. Good. And actually, you know what? At this point, I feel confident that... Yeah, I'm making some of these bad boys. Yeah, you better wait. You better watch out, man. You know what's serious when the Mormons are making tank divisions. Uh, go and do upgrades up here. We have more than enough. We don't have any need to reinforce anything. So go ahead and begin upgrading our current equipment. We have 3,600 pieces of demo equipment that must be upgraded, almost 25,000 pieces of infantry equipment that also must be upgraded, and about 2,800 pieces of equipment for special forces. And we have better stim packs, not drugs. Stim packs. Those aren't drugs. Stim packs are from the Lord. They're given, us to, given to us by the Lord. Um, eh, reinforce it. That sounds pretty useful. <clears throat> Oh, Kaisar. Anyways, when we will we will go to war with the Nevada Pact, and we will take whatever New Vegas takes from Kaisar. So no worries, no worries. And if you haven't noticed, we still have the Free State remnants here. Somehow they're still alive. So a little bit of manpower, quite a few divisions actually, for being such a small area. They are an anarchist paradise, incorruptible. Revolutionary command. Army expanded. Special forces expanded. Freedom guns. Holy cow, freedom guns. That sounds so American. I love it. Ooh. Warranted skepticism. Automation accepted. Wow, that's a big hit to your consumer goods. Anarchism for all. D 
Deal with the tribals. Deal with the foragers. Ah, paddle wheels. Very good. Interesting. Interesting focus view that they do have. Combat stuff. Subsurface propulsion? Sure. Why not? Yampa, come on, go to war with us. How long will, will it take for me to go to war with them? 215 days. I can wait a little bit. I can wait. Do we have good enough planes up north? The Whistler Nomads declare war on the Kamlo survivalists. Alright. Good, let them deploy. And in a few days, we will be able to go to war. And have a great time with everyone. <clears throat> Resource-wise... Well, we're out of 20 circuitry. Unfortunate. Ooh, another division. Throw you right there. Good. Also, the Troll Warren has, is at war with quite a few people. Khan Antelope War. Oh, 69,000. Nice. That's a lot of dead. Uh, 30,000. Wow. Legion Yakuza War. Well, the League is, has lost nothing. They're not really fighting. And then Arroyo and New Victorian War. So 26,000 from the Northern League versus the Troll Warren and Arroyo for 11,000. Washington Brotherhood. They're not looking too good. They're out of manpower. The Troll Warren still have a little bit. Port Maul has none. Oh, who are you? The Pirate Queen? If you're a pirate, you must hate Mormonism and you must be taken out. But let us go ahead and justify on Yampa. That'll take a while, and that's okay. We need a while. Plains. Come on down south. To East Nevada. We are not getting attacked, and that is okay. Go ahead, my men. And guard the soldiers. Gecko has joined the war. I will let the Inquisitors come do battle as well. I did not check out or even really care to look at how strong they are. They're not very strong. Uh, Pale Folk. They have a little bit of manpower, but not really. Cyclops Tribes has not... They, these guys really don't have that much on them. Thank the Lord. Good, good, good. I'm going to wait till these guys go to war with us as well. And we'll have a great time with them. <clears throat> Losses so far. Yakuza ter territories have been called in. Call in our allies. We've lost five versus 277 using pretty much just infantry and a few sky planes. Sky planes. Who says sky planes? I just did. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need manpower. Good, the Mormon Inquisitors are doing great. Okay, Ashton, Arroyo, and Hopeville have just joined the Nevada Pact. That's unusual. That's very weird. I've never seen that before. Oh, New Reno got split. Oh my goodness, the Antelope Tribes. They're, they're coming back with a vengeance. New Reno is out of manpower. Oh my good. Oh, they're almost out of manpower too. They're on scraping the barrel. And New Reno isn't. Ah, good. Cyclops Tribes is at war with us. Good. Two divisions, nice. That's not good. But I'm... Am I at war with the Pale Folk? No, I'm not. So, oh. Rotteroni. Oh, but they're not at war with me, so they can't do that. Yet. Mm, throw you up north. You should be three divisions right there. Oh, also, I do want to add on some anti-tank. Just because I think we'll need it. Uh, but I'll do that in a little bit because we don't have that much manpower left at the current moment. Alright, there we go. Thank goodness. There you go. Evander. Go ahead. Calm yourself down. Go do this. You guys. I want you to focus right there. Cut these guys off. Good, let you guys get reorganized up north. We have the planes. They are ready to, and are good to go. But I'm going to do this. Do north 
Nevada as well. Um, yeah, leave one there. Go ahead and do that. They will continue to push in. Evander, come on. Just do not get encycled. That is the big no. Good, good, good. You're getting attacked like crazy. And you might not win everything. And that's okay. So go ahead and put pressure down here. As we are going to begin managing the autonomy of the Tar Walkers. Alright, let our soldiers get ready to go. And we will begin a small little attack. Now, we won't be attacking very harshly. That is not my goal. But we will attack, hopefully, well enough so that we can do well enough. Cool. About 50. I want you to come down here. Ah, religious fervor. A great thing to have. Next up, we have the Passion of the Christ. Our soldiers are imbued with the Word of God. Their faith is strong, and so their arms will not waver. They fight with a fervorous passion and a incredulous zeal. Not massive. Massive doesn't make too much sense, but whatever. Um, do I need to keep building stuff? And, eh, they, they still got what they need. Yeah, I want you guys to go crazy here. That would be delightful. Oh, can you take this? That would be great if we can get Carlin already. Losses, 97 versus 2,000. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. And there goes the right world territories. Just a few stragglers. You can attack from the Desert Rangers or the NCR Rangers or whatever they're called. Pitiful. Truly pitiful. Ah, oh, yes. God is good. Allison King, thank you for joining us. We have many enemies to take care of. And we are out of manpower. Go ahead and help him out. Battle Mountain. 3,000 losses. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'll throw you under him. And if you can, go ahead. Go to Klondex. Good. You know what? Because of some potential supply issues, I'm going to hold these guys off. I want you... That's a big old border with these guys down here. Hmm. We'll do it like this. Just in case I do not trust the NCR, I do not trust the Desert Rangers. Uh, but what I do trust is our puppets and their divisions. Oh, glorious. You guys are okay, divisions. You're not great. Thank you very much for your service, though. Ah, uh, Pot... Uh, Pierre Peace. No, Pierre Peace, no. Pierre Potter. Slightly dyslexic there. Ah, uh, electrical extraction. Good. Um, sure, we'll get some steam-powered extraction as well. Good. Good. I'm going to leave the planes here for now. They're doing a great job. We're doing 13 and a half damage. Good. How are the APCs? Ah, the Pale Folk have given up. As they rightfully should. Ah, Metal Bows. Bows. Oh. Oh, we're going to need this. Wait, this requires a brig. 
And this requires probably a trireme, so. Not bad. You know what? I want you to give up on your current battle. I want you guys to give up as well. Reorganize yourselves. You're a mess. Why don't you come south a little bit? Ah! Nice! I love the vehicle scavengers. Now, you guys to come down here and do this part of Nevada. There you go. There you go. Um, y'all can probably move up if you really feel like it. And we are very much out of divisions. Or manpower, really. Good. One, two. Buckle my shoe. And then three, four, hold the door. And we have a division. I'm okay. I don't need you for now, my friends. APCs, you are coming down south, which is good. God, give them a little bit of time to reorganize. Let them rest. And that's enough rest. We're going to circle these few divisions right here. These four. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And they can kind of pierce one of my tanks. That's not cool. Ballistic fibers. How about more recovery rate? We do have quite a bit of army XP, and I like it. Good. Crush them. I'm going to assume that these enemies have anti-tank on their divisions. Splash Platoons does. Cyclops Tribes does. I think everyone does. That's unfortunate. Manpower losses, 196. Basically 200 versus 4,000. Good. And infantry and the Inquisitors can finish off these fellas. My goodness, do we need manpower. Good. Goodness, goodness, goodness. They have more manpower coming. They have a little bit of manpower. So we must play the game fairly intelligently. And by to do that, we must make an encirclement. And I'm thinking I will send the tanks up north. To Gal to Golconda. Golconda. Ah, subsurface propulsion. A great thing to have. On that barge, that is good. Aerial warfare. Fighter detection plus 10%? Sure. Get the tanks up here. We're going to continue punishing the enemies. Three, two, good enough. Let's go. More attack. Crush them with everything you have. And you know what? Send the Inquisitors too. But that's not all. We're going to directly attack up this way next and make a very small minor answer from it uh, with the passion of the Christ. And then a promise of, of a paradise, eternal, as good Christians we know that our good deeds on this earth, no matter how short or miserable our life, will grant us a place in paradise by God's side. We are ultimately committed to this, no matter the cost of our lives. Amen. Amen. Good. Good. Do not let them escape. Do not let them move. Let them panic. Let them fear us. Now kill them. Send the stronger tank into the reserves, or into the back. Ah, uh, it's only five divisions, but another five divisions we do not have to worry about. 
Beautiful. Crush them. Actually, you don't have to move tank. Beautiful. Next up will be another tank encirclement. Please, you do not need to move. Good. Four more infantry divisions. Good, 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 good. We have a new army to make then. Glorious under Samuel Baxter. He might be politically connected, but that's okay. Right now, we can kind of hold off on some of these divisions, which is fine with me. Cool. Tanks. I really want to make more tanks. Move on in north, up north. Long range radio, good. Let us get some more decryption. Still mobilizing, still mobilizing more manpower. And that's okay. Let us hold. Actually, if anything, you can come up north. One division, they cannot hold out against us. But two divisions, maybe so. Come on, make it. Oh, we're stopped by another division. But they cannot pierce us. They cannot truly hurt us. Even though supply... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of divisions around there. They have completely abandoned the line. They know what I'm up to. They, The AI is getting smarter. Or, the, the enemies are getting smarter. Not the AI. What's that? What is AI? I have no idea. Alright, you abandon your line. I'm just going to squeeze you harder. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Spec Ops, how are you? The peaceful... Prophets. Ah, oh, I love the peaceful prophets. We could just probably attack Paradise Valley. Or not. Or not. Let them let our infantry move in first. We'll see what happens. You know what? We could probably attack this direction. Good. You do not ever want to forget any options that you may or may not have. Good. Just hold on, APCs and tanks. Hold on. Okay, so they, they've just completely started moving their line around. Go ahead and just wallop them if you can. Tanks, help out in Paradise Valley. I was trying to have fun with them, but no. They're going to throw in more and more divisions, guys. You're going to have to do something else than just wail against them. So, focus down south, maybe. Oh, and you guys. Yeah. Go ahead and help out, too. Just go ahead and crush them. There you go. We've lost 300 men versus their 7,000. And I'm loving it. I'm having it my way. Paradise Valley, you cannot pierce these bad boys. Good, good. Antelope tribe, holy cow. Holy cow. Ah, there goes Nueva Atzalan. Oh, that's disgusting. That's very disgusting. New Vegas, you are very, very disgusting. Holy smokes. Ah, side channel attack. How about some pulse cold modulation? Factories are looking good. Still producing stuff in the Tarwalkers area. Nothing says annex me like building air bases. Ah. Uh, Pierre is doing a great job. I'm glad we hired him. Crush him. End them. Come on. Good. They stand no chance against us. So, so now, we must be begin thinking about... Oh, there goes the Shogunut. Yampa. They have quite a few divisions and manpower. Okay. Free Fire is good war with Gente del Sol. We have 22 days left around here. Not bad. If anything, 
I want them to attack me like crazy. Because me trying to bust through here is going to be nearly impossible. Unless I navally invade them, but that's probably not going to happen. Good. Take out Gecko and his ilk. Ah, Petro Chico, very nice. Multi-deck construction. Good. Get a try, Ream. Finally. Sixteen manpower. The Vault City is a front line city. Truly glorious. Send the tanks in. Into the vault. Oh, that's very nice. Very, very nice. The Mormon. Huh. North Nevada. Well, not really, don't need North Nevada. We have the promise of paradise eternal, and we have crushed them. Hopefully, this solves all of our resource issues. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. You come over here, we will soon be at war with tribals, pagans, undesirables. Okay, going there already. Good. Happy 2282, my friends. The, but the war is not yet over. The eternal struggle for Christ. Oh, Samuel, you look a little bit like Thomas. Hmm, weird. Let us go ahead and do... Mm. Kneeling before the cross, with the Lone Tree tribe subjugated, finally, we have forced the pagans to kneel before the cross and convert to Christianity. In later years, though, their culture and religion will be completely... or will completely dissipate. Glorious. Truly glorious. Next up, let us get the Lord's Teacher for a little bit less stability for more max planning and more planning speed. Awesome. Let us go ahead and rearrange our line down here. For you never know what those rangers will do. Actually, come on. Boom. There you go. That is beautiful. Tanks, come up north. Mormon Inquisitors, come over here. Joshua Graham, you're doing a great job holding a line that no one's even using. And I'm going to send you guys here. Send the other half this direction. Send half of you guys up to Ellen Wastes and then to Castle Dale. Infantry. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Well, oh. Who are you? It is not worth keeping them for now. Infantry, thank you. And you're also not really important to keep around as well. Things here, things there. And we can go to the Rocky Plain. Steam powered extraction, very good. Very good. Reinforce rate, sounds good to me. Throw them over here. Actually, you know what? I might just use you guys too. Come on down to Altona. Good. Let our men, let our planes help them out in the south. Uh, and it looks like we built the airbase up here very nicely. Oh, but we have no manpower, of course. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. Well, William Grog. Greg. Sorry, I mispronounced your name. Go right ahead. With planes in the air, we should be okay. Ah, another division that I will not need. They are currently at 873 out of 1,000. But it looks like it's going up. We must remedy this with more air bases. Oopsie. Come on. Let's see. Good. You're doing a great job. A great, great job. God, I need more manpower. Oh. Samuel, you fall ill. That's okay. Things happen. Go to Green River. 
Nice. Was that the United States of Mexico? Did I just see that? Radar. Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Mora. Okay, hello, Mora. Fancy. New Vegas, you are disgusting. You are really disgusting. And this is why we must take you out probably in the next video. Well, at least once Yampa is good and taken care of. Oh, you guys have no orders. Where did... Wait, what the heck? What happened to my puppet's divisions? Like, they were here, weren't they? Uh, throw you guys, like, here, and then throw you guys over there. Go right ahead. They are tiring themselves out, and that is a great thing. Move out, men. Move out. All of you, focus on Western Colorado. You know what? Just for funsies. There you go. Plenty of damage. Three damage. 74, 75. Keep going. Keep going. Go up to north to the Rocky Plains as well. Alright, so you guys abandon the line. Good to know. Good to know I cannot count on you sometimes. In the meantime. In the meantime. Do we have the capabilities of taking out the Nevada Pact? I am going to wait until they kill off Kaisar's Legion. I think that would be for the best. And if we need to, like, maybe move around a little bit more freely in the wastes. Uh, Shoshone Nation, I'd never heard of them. Other armies, other armies. Ah, Thomas Price, come on back. This is probably really the only guy I need. I know there's still holes here, but whatever. And that's why I have you guys. And then you guys. This is going to suck up a lot of supply. Good. Ah, light cruisers. We have two manpower. So in the meantime, we can probably lower this by a little bit. We can use a little bit more manpower for now. Mormon Inquisitors. APCs. Mercy sounds. I think we have enough, honestly, at this point of them. Uh, do not move your booty. Good. I'm going to throw you two right here as well. If you want more supply, just come to Rocky Plain. You guys are definitely struggling getting over here. Alright, not too shabby. We got a little bit more manpower. I'm loving it. I'm definitely loving it. What are you missing? Infantry equipment? Do you need infantry equipment? Do you have not have enough manpower? Whoops. William Gregg falls ill. They have manpower. Send, start, a lend lease. You can have 6,935 guns. Nice. And then 655 of these things. And then 2,000 of these things. And 7,100 pieces of dynamite. There you go. Um, how about y'all go a little more crazy? Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. That is disappointing. Ah, uh, oh, two more APCs. Good. Oh, who are you? Uh, I don't need you here for now. Thank you for playing. Send the APCs to Colorado. Actually, if anything, come to Kriag. There you go. There you go. Kneeling before the cross. Cra crazy Horn volunteers. Many of the Crazy Horns, enamored by the Mormon message, have volunteered to join the hands of God in our army. They may be a valuable asset. And yes, they will be. This is very annoying, seeing that uh, these guys won't do anything. Hold on, let's just redo this. 
I want you three right here. Everyone else but you three is coming right there. I do not want you to attack. You have the big dumb. Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, Allison King? Why do you have all these orders? Hold on. Hold on. Um, everybody but you. No vominos. Hold on. Everyone come up here except for like... Three divisions. Actually, you know what? Don't do that. I want you three divisions. Right there. God dang it. Allison King, why did you steal my divisions? Why? Stay. Good. Get rid of line. Everyone come here. Good. Maybe I just have the big dumb right now. Um. And now you do that. And then do that. There you go. That should help everything out. Why are you not moving? Come on. I know, I know. One infrastructure is no bueno. But that's all the time for that we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And check out my Discord link below if you haven't already. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day, guys. And I will see you all tomorrow.